Welcome to another episode of Stay Safe. On today's episode, we're going to show you how to retrofit a single family home. A seismic retrofit is one of the best things you can do to protect your investment. Let's go inside and take a look. Hi, I'm Patrick Odellini, Chief Resilience Officer and Director of Earthquake Safety for the City and County of San Francisco. Welcome to another episode of Stay Safe. I'm here today at the Epicenter in our model house with structural engineer Thor Madison. And today we're going to talk about plywood shear walls. How are you doing today, Thor? Great. How are you, Patrick? Great, thanks. So what, what, are, we, uh, what are we looking at here? Where are we? Well, we're under a typical house. And uh, if you'll notice, we've got bare studs here. Mm -hmm. And these are prone to failure in an earthquake. We need to stabilize these, these cripple studs so that they don't lean over during an earthquake. And plywood is very effective at doing that as long as you do one thing, which is nail along every edge of the plywood to the framing. So we're going to nail along the, the sides and along the top, and we want to nail along the bottom. So immediately we see a problem here in the typical San Francisco construction because there's nothing to nail the bottom edge of the plywood to. So what we've got is a wood block that we're going to put in between the studs, and we'll secure this to the mud sill with either nails or structural screws, and that will give us something to nail the bottom edge of the plywood to. So Thor, I also noticed that uh, we haven't bolted our foundation yet, but in a previous episode, which you can also see, uh, Thor goes through several different options where we can actually find different types of products to bolt our foundation. So now that we've got the blocking in, and we're able to be able to attach our, our plywood shear wall, what else do we need to think about? The third part of an earthquake retrofit is that we want to attach the existing floor framing of the house above to the top of our braced wall. And there are a couple of different ways to do that. One is just a, a steel angle, and this goes on top of this wall, and it attaches to the, the top of the wall with nails driven down into the top plate and to the framing with nails driven in this direction. Now, driving a nail here is going to be very difficult unless you have a specialized tool for that. So we have a different kind of bracket that makes that an easier connection. And this is good for about 500 pounds of earthquake force going back and forth. This connector mounts to the face of the wall. So this connector is going to secure the top of the wall to the framing above. And it gets nailed into the top plate of the cripple wall and then nailed in from the sides to this framing member. And that gives us a secure connection to resist lateral forces. So now you can see we have the space totally prepared now to install our plywood shear wall. We put the blocking down here at the bottom. We've also bolted the foundation in accordance with the code and also provided these brackets up here. So in our next episode, you're gonna see us actually install this plywood shear wall and then you'll see the project complete. So please tune in again. I'm Patrick Odellini and stay safe. <laughs>